Hey, what's up everyone? It's Scott Winteroth. And hey, I just wanted to spend a few seconds talking about some sort of um, creative leadership principles that I enjoy thinking about and enjoy sharing. And I think that uh, one thing I want to talk about right now is passion, right? What, what, what makes ordinary people be able to do extraordinary things, right? Uh, to be extraordinary, sometimes it means you set a goal above and beyond. You create a piece of art or a work of art. You create a new website. You create a new app. You do something extraordinary. You do something different than what everyone else would do. But what, how do you get there, right? What, why do some people, why are some people able to accomplish so much and some people don't? You know, one, drive, but most importantly, passion. What really wants to, what gets you out of bed every day, right? What gets you out of bed? What makes you want to do it? That's generally because you are very passionate about what you want to do that day. Sometimes you're passionate about your job, right? Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're passionate about a club you're in. Sometimes you're passionate about a blog post you're writing or a piece of social content you're writing. Ultimately, one thing that's hard to do, especially when you reach a certain age, let's face it, is really truly finding what that passion is or what that new drive is. Because honestly, let's let's face it, sometimes being passionate about something today is maybe not what you're passionate about six months from now or six years from now, right? I know things that I enjoyed in my 20s I don't necessarily find very passionate about now. Obviously, my 20s, you know, drinking, having a good time, partying all the time is what you kind of like to do in your 20s when you're in college and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm very fortunate for myself, although I have a really, really close, tight-knit group of friends, which I adore and I love to hang out and have a good time with them. I'm not someone who's going to go party all the time or party at night every night because I'm very passionate about writing. I'm very passionate about building a business. I'm very passionate about doing lots of stuff that uh, make me um, drive me every day, right? They make me want to stay up late or make me want to get up early in the morning to do it, right? So how to find that passion today? Maybe you're in a lull. Maybe you had something you're passionate about, but you're tired of that. I think that's safe. It's okay to be tired of what you're doing. So how do you find what you're passionate about now, right? I think the answer is you have to do it. You have to just try a lot of different things. You have to be creative, leverage your creativity. You know, I'm a big creativity guy. So that might be taking a new course, a new, go online, watch a few YouTube videos that uh, about something, cause someone, you know, get schooled by someone on YouTube for free. Uh, try a new, you know, new path to work. Instead of taking the same route to work every day, try a different route. Maybe you drive every day. Can you bike or can you, can you walk? Can you take the bus? You never know. Sometimes these little sparks of, of um, change in routine create new ideas in your mind, uh, create new mindsets for you, and then ultimately help you decide what you are more passionate about. Or you might, you never know, you might, instead of driving to work, you take the bus and you happen to read a magazine on the way to work and you find something you're passionate about that way. If you source the universe, the universe will deliver for you, whether that universe is a God or the universe is something that uh, you don't want to describe, the universe will deliver, but you have to put yourself out there creatively, emotionally, and physically to do that. And then that's when you're going to find passion. That's where you're going to find drive. The next edition of this is then what do you do once you're in the dip, right? There's a fantastic book by it. Seth Godin is the author. It's called The Dip. And why most people don't achieve what they want to achieve is because at some point it gets hard, right? When it gets hard, that's when people quit. And it's your job to understand that if you are in the dip where it's hard, you have to decide what do you want to do and get out of that quickly, right? If you're going to quit, then just quit. Be a quitter. I'm okay with being a quitter. I know a lot of people say don't quit. That's the worst thing to do. Quit. If you don't want to do it, it's too hard. Quit. Find something else you're passionate about because that's where you have to be careful with. When you're in the dip, sometimes it's not about it being hard. It's because you've lost interest, right? And that's what you need to decide. If you've lost interest truly and it's nothing you want, it's something you don't want to pursue anymore, whether it's an education, whether it's a new company, whether it's a new job, if it's not working for you, then quit. Find something else. Find what does work for you. Because at the end of the day, what this all boils down to, and I hate to say this, I hate to be so grim because I'm generally an overly positive guy. When you are facing the glory gates of your final resting place, what are you going to tell you? What do you want to tell yourself that you did what you you did something that was hard and you did it for the rest of your life because that was it, 
or you did what you were passionate about and you followed your passions and you truly ended up at the end of your journey on this earth that you decided that that's what you want to do and you followed your passions. So quit. Be a quitter. But most importantly, find out what you want to do. Don't listen to other people. I probably spent most of my young adulthood listening to what other people tell me to do. And it worked out. I I'm, I wouldn't change a thing. But as I get older, I realize that I'm going to do what I want to do. And I don't really care what people say. If you like it or not, that's great. I don't care. It feels It fuels my passion. And my passion fuels my creativity. And ultimately, that's what people want from me is bright ideas and lots of fun, fun things to do. So thanks for listening in. I hope this minute with me was a, an opportunity to share some ideas. Don't forget to follow uh, Creative Year Ever. We're ramping up for a new Creative Year Ever in 2021. I have some exciting things to announce really soon. So be sure to follow this channel. Or follow my Instagram page for updates on Creative Year Ever. And also hit the Creative Year Ever social media profile itself because that ultimately um, has will we're going to be announcing on there. So be sure to follow me at Word Mentor and at Creative Year Ever. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for listening.